Hi everybody, welcome to a vlog update in just a moment. Everybody, I am Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and the creator here. If you don't know me, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do have a website. It's melsdivination.com. So everything that's mine, because there are imitators, it's all linked down below always, okay? Today, we're going to have a little bit of an informal chat because I've been kind of non-existent on the channel lately and I did just want to update you all with some of what's been going on with me, some of what's going to be coming up for the channel and kind of where we're going from here. If you've been following the channel on a regular basis, you may have come to notice that normally I do postings on Wednesdays and usually sometime on the weekend I upload videos, content. We usually do Witchy Wednesdays and then some kind of astrology thing on the weekend. I have, over the last several months, been a lot less consistent with that, probably a little bit after the beginning of the year, and most of that has to do with some personal stuff that has been going on with me. I have mentioned in previous videos things of mental health, and we are going to be talking about that again a little bit today, so if that does make you uncomfortable, I want you to move on. Feel free to not watch this video. This is more of an update than anything, so you're not going to miss much if, unless if you're interested in what's going on with me in the channel. As you may have noticed or, or watched or learned or heard in previous videos that I've done, I do struggle sometimes with mental health. I do see a counselor twice a week, actually, and I highly recommend for everybody to find somebody like that that they can talk to when they need it. Um, I have been doing a lot of intensive work on me to be a better person in general, to live a better quality life, and to be able to show up for my work as well. Now, I tend to get seasonal depression in the winter months. I've noticed a trend that it does usually start to happen around November, and it typically lasts until around March when it's in those dark seasons. I take medication, I do lots of things to be proactive, but sometimes it still catches up with me. And what ended up happening this season, not that you guys really deserve an explanation, but I do feel like I want to share this with you, is I got really burned out with seasonal depression, but also with working 50 hour work weeks and then trying to keep up with the YouTube channel. And then I had some other stuff going on besides all of that in my personal part of my life. And it just kind of made it very hard to show up on a regular basis for the channel. And what I've actually decided for myself is at the beginning of the next year, so t beginning of 2024, I'm very likely going to take a scheduled content creation break for myself so that I can avoid this in the future. Now, one of the things that has been going on is my cat got quite sick. I don't know how much you guys have followed the channel. If you're new, if you're not, I'm sorry, you're going to hear a bit of a repetitive story right now. But I have, it's just myself and my cat in the house that I live in. And she is my emotional support animal. I mean, she's not labeled that technically, but she she's my world. And she her name is Tonks, and she's 14. She's officially made it to 14. She is a senior kitty. And this past winter, early spring, she started to have some pretty significant symptoms that I was concerned about. And I had a lot of stress around that. A lot of vet visits, a lot of monitoring, a lot of sleep lost, um, a lot of worrying, a lot of tears, a lot of mourning and grief because I thought I was going to lose her. Um, she is my first and only pet that I've had as an adult. I got her when I was 24, I believe, maybe 25. And so I've had her the majority of my adult life. And I know that when I do lose her someday, it is going to be very, very hard. And that's only one thing that's been going on with me. 
Thankfully now I can say with about 90% confidence that she is doing better. Um, she, without getting into major nitty gritty about it, she had developed something that may have been cancer. And in order to test for that, it would have been a significant procedure that may have put her life in danger. She may have passed away just for the procedure to test for the cancer. So I opted not to, and we went the more cautious route instead. And because of that, some of the things that we tried made her more sick and not better. So there was a lot of stuff that happened. I can say at this point, because this started in early March, she is not showing any signs of cancer at this point. She is doing much better. We're not sure if the situation was an infection or if it was something else, because again, we didn't test for cancer. The thing that started to seem to be the issue is still somewhat there. So she could tank again, but right now she's thriving and I am crossing my fingers and thanking all of my guides for helping take care of her. Things are doing a bit better there. I've also mentioned in other videos that I have a very close family member who has been battling cancer, a rare form of cancer actually, for about two and a half years. And only recently did something come up that it seems like they are going to be good. And this winter, we were really praying for something because it wasn't going, it was, it was starting to, there's a lot of problems there, um, along with two other family members that are in that same side of my family have also been recently, at least one, probably two, diagnosed with cancer. So there's a lot of health concerns going on in my family, my, my very close family, and I've had some stuff going on with me as well. I don't have cancer that I know of and I'm just trying to live a better, healthier life. So with all that being said, there's been a lot of things that have been happening that have been coming up that have caused a lot of grief and a lot of reality checks of people and pets are not gonna be here very long and it was kind of like, I'm gonna lose this, I'm gonna lose this, I'm gonna lose this, I'm gonna lose this, all really closely knit. So there was a lot of challenges with overcoming that just to function and work, let alone show up for you guys, which is part of my work, but it's an, an additional thing. It's, it's not the main part of my work. My main part of my work is my readings that I do for clients. Okay, so I am happy to say that I'm getting more free time. I am, everything is stabilizing in all those areas. So that is why I'm able to start showing up again more for you guys. Now, with the channel going forward, we've pretty much completed all of the flip through Fridays that have existed that I could. I do have a few more decks that I have my eye on that I will be probably purchasing slowly over time and I will do some unboxings with those, but I'm not gonna be doing any more major flip throughs. Because of this time of year, it gets really overcast and if you guys haven't followed me for a long time, you may not know, I usually use um, natural lighting in my filming because I have glasses because I need glasses to see and regular like ring lights or even overhead lighting reflects off you can even see the windows in my glasses right now it reflects off of them and it just doesn't look great I don't have contacts I don't ever plan on getting contacts so yeah there's that as well and it's been hard because when it's overcast, you have to film, like right now it's about 6.30 in the evening and the sun is slowly starting to go down, but it was raining all day and the sun finally came out. So that's why I'm able to film right now. And I have multiple videos that I want to get done, but I don't know if I will get them all done today. What I will tell you is, we're gonna be getting back into the swing of things with the astrology releases. So I do have to film the May astrology report that's coming up. Hopefully I'll have it posted within a day or two from now. I'm going to also start doing my weekly astrology again, and we're gonna be doing the eclipses or the full moons or the new moons and things of that nature. 
I also have started a little garden, so I will probably share some of that with you guys because it's been yucky outside today. It's really not worth it. I do have a TikTok that I've started, but I'm not really putting a lot into it just yet. It is Mel's Divination. I want to say it's Mel's Divination Zero. I don't have that one linked down below, but that's just because I'm not doing a lot with it yet. I also intend to start doing live videos again where I do live tarot pulls by donation and I'm going to be updating my website. That's going to be coming up really, really soon within the next few weeks maximum that I'm going to be putting some short, short order options on the site. So things like an email reading, things like a quick, quick recorded video reading, um, and I also intend to add a consultation op email option about magic because a lot of people are commenting on the videos, asking me questions, and I just generally don't have time to answer every single comment. And it also really genuinely depends on what your in exact situation and question is. So I'm going to be offering a very reasonable rate of uh, one, one question, one answer, email, consult around magic as well. As a reminder, because I know there's a lot of people that are new to, to the channel, I am an, a teacher. I was a teacher for a long time. So my style of videos are more lecture style than they are special b-roll and really pretty aesthetics and things of that nature. I am very much used to being a talker to the camera, talker to my audience. So if that doesn't really work for you, that's how this channel is going to be, has been, and will continue to be. So you may need to find another influencer to follow. I am not, I, I'm more than open for constructive feedback but I know people have been asking for me to change my style and that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's just, this is just who I am and I can't change who I am. So if that doesn't work for you, there are some other channels that I'm sure are out there for you. The other thing that I did want to address is I do not do spell crafts, witchcraft, magic of any kind for anybody. I don't do it for clients. I don't do it for free for friends. I don't do it. And the, there's a reason for that. The reason why I don't do that is because I believe very strongly, it's my personal philosophy, but I'm not saying that other people are wrong that do offer paid magic. I believe very strongly that magic is within you. And it's the strongest if you want a spell done, it's the strongest if you're the one that's doing it because it's your intention. So for instance, I could do a spell for you for, I don't know, love. We'll just say love because that's the most popular one. And for you to attract a specific person to your life. And if you don't follow the instructions that I provide, if you don't follow the guidance that I give you, and I do the spell work, your spell is not, your, the, the thing is not going to come to fruition. And now I've taken money from you and your energy has affected that. I don't believe that it is, it, I feel like with mel magic and spell work, it is the most important element of your energy and your intention that you're putting into it more than anything else. So it is really important that you're careful going out there and giving people your money to do magic work for you, it's much better for you to do it for yourself. Absolutely. Because intentions can be the biggest component and are the biggest component of spell work. I also have a whole series coming up that I'm planning on posting about different types of focuses for astrology. I don't mean weekly and monthly updates. I mean other things. So I've done a retrograde video. I'm going to be doing a Pluto video. I'm going to be doing a new moon in a full moon general video. So there's certain things that I'm working on that is kind of a series of basics of basic astrology. So I can just refer you guys back to those videos so that I'm not constantly repeating myself, to, especially to my regular followers. 
And the last thing I really wanted to update you all on is my big goal this summer towards going into the fall of 2023 is to create workshops. So I'm working on, I already have a, a good chunk of workshops that I've created for in-person that I need to translate it into online and virtual for you all. And I will be doing that. I've recently found that my website can, my website host program can offer workshops right on the website. So you don't have to go to a lot of different places. So I'm going to be working on that very soon. I have three, four already kind of set up and ready to go. I just have to translate it into virtual and pay attention to the community tab because I'm going to be putting up polls of what kind of workshop you'd, you'd be interested in first, what kind of setup for the workshop because I have different ideas and I want to make it most accessible to you all. So there's going to be some feedback that I'm going to be looking for and if you want to give input on that, let me know. I've also been considering creating a newsletter of some kind so that you can also give me input, but that's going to be a little bit ways away. And YouTube offers different tiers of subscriptions to the channel, and I've been considering doing that as well. Um, one of the higher tiers I'm considering is a book club because I've been wanting to do a book club with you all and I really don't want to have to make you all switch over to Patreon where you could just stay here and do it on this one localized channel. Uh, so keep an eye out for a bunch of different things where you want to put your input in. Besides that, I feel like that's about it. I'm really excited about getting back into the swing of things with you all. I really appreciate you guys being patient with me because things have been extremely wonky in my world. I'm hoping that we're kind of coming off of the roller coaster and that I can start being more consistent. My first goal is to start doing Witchy Wednesdays again and start releasing the regular astrology. So that way we're on track with just my basics that I've been doing for years with you guys. And then we can continue to expand from there. Mm -hmm.